What's up? It's Amanda here, and welcome back to my channel, Who to the Sims. So you may be wondering, why do I not have a face cam? Well, it is quarantine, so I'm taking this on the lazy route, and I decided to film without a camera. I hope that's not a problem for you guys. Um, you can still get the gist of the house and uh, what I've done by just watching the video and listening along. Um, but yeah, today's speed build is a Victorian, and I titled this, I believe, Peaceful Victorian on the Gallery because it is in Glimmerbrook, and it's just in a really quiet, kind of like backwoodsy area, and I thought that this would be a perfect house and location, you know, for a Victorian to sit here. Um, but yeah, it's just, it turned out really, really nice. I was actually really happy with the results on this speed build. Um, and I hope you guys are too. This has actually been on the gallery for, I would say, a good two months. Um, I've been really slacking on making YouTube videos, as you guys have noticed. Most of the time in the past, I've uploaded two to three videos a week. And I haven't even been reaching one video a week on average weeks lately because I've just been so unmotivated to do anything. Um, which is fair. I, I hope you guys understand. Um, but today we are getting a new speed build on the YouTube channel and I hope you guys enjoy it. There will be more videos to come throughout the weeks. I think my average upload is going to be lower than normal just because my YouTube uh, channel hasn't really taken off as I expected it to. Obviously I wasn't expecting a huge following, but to be doing YouTube for I guess over a year and only getting like, you know what I mean, 112 subscribers versus my Twitch. It's just too much to keep up with, so I'm going to stick with the one and be more faithful to the one that I'm actually getting a little bit more traction and attention with. So I hope you guys understand. I'm definitely not quitting YouTube for sure, but I'm definitely just going to be doing a lot less uploads. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, But yeah, this is, house is so beautiful. It turned out just... I don't even know how to describe it. It was beyond what I imagined it could turn out to be. Um, there's just a lot of detailing that kind of came together as this was coming along. As you can see, there are a lot of um, intersection points and a lot of points where this house just looks super unique. Um, I don't remember if I referenced a house photo, like a real house. I think this just was off the top of my memory. But it was just, it was a really fun build. And um, I'm trying to get out of my, my safe zone, which is obviously, I would say, more suburban-styled homes. Um, and they always look good, and I just wanted to get out of my comfort zone for this build and do some sort of a Victorian, because Glimmerbrook and Windenburg really give off those Victorian vibes, and I just wanted to play along with that with this new world. I think Glimmerbrook just recently came out when I did this speed build, so again, this is, um, <laughs> this was months ago when I built this, so it's kind of odd circling back and doing a voiceover for it, but it's also kind of cool to do it this way because you do get to watch yourself build it and you don't really remember what exactly your thoughts were during the process, so it's just, um, it's a very interesting thing to do circling back on a build that I just haven't looked at in months. Sorry guys, if you hear a bird in the background, <laughs> I do have a wall clock that is a bird clock. It's very weird, um, but it chimes at the hour and it's different birds at the hour, so that's probably what you guys are hearing. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, get out of my comfort zone and I think this build did a really good job with that. Um, and on any notes and any other notes, I just want to make sure you guys are having a good quarantine. I hope you guys aren't going too crazy. Um, I hope speed builds and Sims videos in general help you kind of get through these rough times that everybody's going through. Um, for me, as you guys may know, maybe not know if you're watching from my Twitch channel, I was put on furlough for work, which is no big deal. Um, because everybody, like, there's so many people out there who are affected than you realize with this virus, um, and I'm just kind of playing it safe. I've been staying home, I've been doing more Twitch streams, 
so it's been good on that front. Um, and but I just, <laughs> as you guys can tell, I've been kind of abandoning my YouTube channel, which kind of is um, it's a little disappointing because I started on YouTube, so I kind of want to make sure I'm keeping up with it as best as I can. Again, not as many uploads, but it's gonna be all right. Um, so my thought process on this build was that. I wanted some accent colors. I didn't want it to be all one color. Um, I definitely wanted yellow and for sure another accent color and I decided to go with green because it is in the woods and I wanted it to kind of feel, kind of feel like the environment that it's surrounded by. Um, and I went with some stained glass and some dated windows from um, Strangerville. So it just kind of had a more dated look but it's also kind of like updated a little bit. Like it looks like it's well maintained. So that was the vibes that I was going for. The landscaping, if I can recall, is pretty minimal. We've got some flower gardens up front. Um, we've got the carport garage, as you can see back there. I'm making the driveway and the sidewalks right now. Um, but this build was just really fun to kind of play around with and figure out what exactly I wanted to do with it because I really had no idea going from um, an empty lot to building this very unique uh, Victorian. So I think I did a pretty good job. I hope you guys like it. Again, it's on the gallery. I believe it's just called Peaceful Victorian. You can find my gallery by just searching by ID. Um, and my ID is Who Did The Sims. Just the same as my YouTube. It makes things a lot easier for you guys to find things. But yeah, it was just a really fun process. The landscaping on this house was actually probably my, one of my favorite things to do because it is such an interesting shaped house. It's very old and tiny, but it also is relevant to um, current times because it is a little bit updated. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it was a really, really fun time to build this house, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, as you can see, I like saving a lot to the gallery just so I don't lose my progress. Um, because the worst thing that can happen is, you know, you do all this work and it doesn't save. Or your game crashes and you forget to save your Sims game. So I just frequently upload and save to my library, as you can see. And that's definitely the safest thing to do. That's what I would recommend everybody to do. Um, if you are a builder, just save to your gallery, save to your library, and then, um, you know, just re uh, upload the most recent an updated version of your build. Um, it can be kind of hard to figure out what your recent upload is if you keep changing the name of the house. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to make this house pretty detailed, to be honest with you. As you can see, I am adding, like, very faint grass lines, so it looks like it was recently mown, um, or mowed, whatever you prefer to say. Um, but it was just a really fun build. I really like adding that just subtle detail in the landscape, and here I go with some custom pool floor tiling. It was just a really, really fun build to do, um... But yeah, I, again, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, it's a really unique build, and I hope you guys like it. Um, and if you do, again, it's on the gallery, so. Um, but I hope everybody's been doing good in quarantine. Again, um, I hope everybody's staying safe, following guidelines, um, you know, just doing the best practices. I hope you're all doing well. Um, again, more builds to come, more Let's Plays to come. We'll be continuing on with the ones we've already started. But yeah. Um, so this build, I kind of had in mind to have a, I guess like a, like a peaceful kind of garden vibe, so that's why it was called Peaceful Victorian. It is off in the woods, but I also wanted it to be a house that is a really good, like, hosting opportunity for Sims to be outside and having a good time because they are in the woods. You wouldn't want to be cooped up in the house even if it is a pretty Victorian. You're going to want some outdoor living space, so I made this beautiful large patio in the backyard overlooking their pool and also the woods in um, Glimmerbrook in hopes that you guys will have your sims have a little bit of outside time. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know how many people actually use their pools, but almost every sims house that I see on the gallery includes a pool, um, which is really, really funny. So, And it's not really realistic to real life. Like, not everybody has a backyard pool, but almost all of my builds have pools in the backyard, so... Um, that's where the realism kind of goes out the window, but again, it is Sims, you can do whatever you want in this game, and that's what I love about it, so, um, but yeah, it's really weird because I haven't really made tons of builds recently because I've been really into this game called Ark Survival Evolved, I'm sure some of you have heard of it, it's kind of like a survival dinosaur type of game, um, so you tame di dinosaurs and you basically survive. So it's like a little mix of Minecraft with Jurassic Park, and it's a really, it's a really fun time. I don't know if any of you 
have the game um, or anything like that, but I would highly recommend it. I really, really would. Um, it's just, it's a really good pastime, and it's just, um, I don't know, it's just a really fun game. So I've been kind of abandoning The Sims for Ark Survival, and I feel kind of bad. Um, that's another reason why I haven't uploaded recently. But again, um, with time, I know that game's gonna settle down. My likes of it will settle down. I'm sure I'm still gonna be obsessed with it, but not as much as I am right now. Um, I haven't really touched The Sims since I got that game. Um, I live stream The Sims, and then when I'm done with it, I kind of turn it off, so. Um, but yeah, again, I don't even know what I was thinking with the kitchen being there. I was just like, you know what? Let's start a kitchen, and then I was like, no, we need walls, so I removed that that I was working on that was going to be the kitchen area, but I realized that that cute little um, octagon room would be a really, really cute spot for kind of like a breakfast nook, um, like a circle table that your sims can sit on and enjoy together. Um, so my process was just all over the place in this house. I really didn't know what I was doing. Uh, but I knew I wanted to go with a different kind of styled kitchen. Normal, most of the time when I do kitchens, I do black and white or gray kitchens. And I was like, you know what? This is a Victorian. It's a little bit dated. I would imagine that not every single appliance in the house would be updated. So I went with darker countertops and darker counter, darker counters in general. And then I switched that idea to a green theme because I was like, you know what? This is peaceful Victorian. It is in the woods. Let's go with some earthy tones and some more toned down like wood colors. And I think it just, I don't know, it's very unlike any kitchen I have ever made in my life. So um, it was kind of weird getting out of my comfort zone, but I knew that it was just, this is the house that was going to help me do it successfully. And I really do think it turned out nice. It's still got some like old timey fancy vibes with the, the crown molding and stuff. But then it also has a little bit of, like, updated feeling and features with the lights and, um, the, I guess the counter colors maybe would be updated. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and I decided to put in a basement here because, you know, we needed more space. Really, this house is actually kind of tall, or small. Um, it's very, like, thin, but also wide, I guess? I don't know. Um, and there just wasn't a enough room on the top floor to put everything that I wanted up there. So I added a basement and I can't recall what I put down there. I might've put like a, like a guest suite downstairs or like a, like a, a living room. I don't really recall what I did, but it looks really, really good. So, um, this was pretty much it for the speed build. Again, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm showing some screenshots right now. I didn't record all of it unfortunately. So I hope this is enough for you guys. Um, I just did the outside, did a little bit of the inside, but I wanted to show you guys kind of my thought process when I was building this. Um, but yeah, screenshots are going right now. And again, I hope you guys really enjoyed the speed build. There will be more to come. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like, if you liked it, make sure you to like this video, obviously, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, because it lets me know you guys are enjoying my content. And until next time, hoot out!